Hey guys, uh, last question, woohoo! I bet you guys are wondering, Mrs. Woodyard, though, when we look at a table of values, how can you tell that it's quadratic? I'm sure you're asking yourselves that question, right? Well, even if you didn't, we're going to be able to answer that question. So, determine whether each table represents a quadratic function. Let's just look at what a quadratic function looks like again. It has an opening like this. Oh, I forgot to color this part in. That's okay. Um, we have a, a U-ish kind of looking shape with a bit of a pointy end. The whole point, um, uh, what, what tells us that it is actually a quadratic is the difference in y values. So this first difference here between, between uh, the first point and the second point is 1. This second one from here to here is 1, 2, 3. From the second point to the third point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're noticing that there's a change. There's a change in difference in y values. Well, I want to let you know something. If you're noticing that there is no change in the y values, uh, no change in the differences between the y points, then it has to be a line. So remember we learned something about slope. Ra uh, slope equals rise over run. In a line, it is consistent, right? You run some, you rise some. You run some, you rise some. But those runs and rises are always the same. You run the same amount and you rise the same amount and you get to another point. Whereas this is different. You run one, you rise one. You run two, you rise three. You run two, um, sorry, you run one and you rise three. You run another one and you rise five. So there's a difference in slope in a parabola. So you know that if the differences between the y values are the same, then it can't be, um, it can't be a um, quadratic function. So if I just look at the differences here, I would say negative 1.5 minus 2. Well, guess what? That is just uh, 3.5. Oh, sorry, I should have done it the, raw, the other way. So negative 1.5 minus 2. Oh, I did, it. I did it the right way. So it should be negative 3.5. We know that when we take the absolute distance of uh, absolute value of something, we get the distance. So the distance between 2 and 1.5 is actually positive 3.5. What happens if I take the distance between negative 5 and uh, uh, negative 1.5? Negative 5 minus, minus 1.5. So guys, basically what we're doing is negative 5 plus 1.5. Guess what? That's negative 3.5, but the absolute value of that would be 3.5. Guess what? The difference here is also 3.5. The difference here is also 3.5. What is this? It's just a line. It's not a quadratic at all. What about this one? The distance between 5.5 and negative 3. 5.5 minus minus 3, so 5.5 plus 3, 8.5. What about 14 minus 5.5? 8.5! What about 22.5 minus 14? 8.5! Guess what? This is also not a quadratic. Okay? So when we're noticing that there's a consistent um, there's a consistent difference like this, and there's actually from uh, the and that the difference is the exact same on the other side of the vertex, we're pretty sure that we get a parabola.
You can also look um, in example two on page 154. I'm just looking down at my textbook here, right here. You're going to notice that there's a whole nother, oh, blah, right, there's a whole nother question here with the answers right here. This guy right here is an example of a quadratic, um, a table of values that does give a quadratic function. Um, you might want to look at that. That will, uh, that will be helpful. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.